Hi, everybody. Today is, I don't know what today is. I think it's a Thursday. Yep, today is Thursday, uh, August 9th, 2012, 2.38 p.m. Um, if you just saw the little title screen, I'm doing an old-ass game, um, which is Crash Bandicoot 2 for the original PlayStation. Um, I'm not playing it on the PlayStation because I'm playing it on the PS3. Cause, cause who has a PlayStation? So, uh, this is uh, going to be like maybe an hour, hour and a half long little Press playthrough. Start um, to begin. If you're new to my channel and if you're new to me, uh, my name is Jovian. I do video game commentary. Uh, I would say walkthroughs, but I don't ever be completing the shit, so <laughs> can't call it a walkthrough. Um, so yeah, if you're also new to me, you know, my icon and my little mascot is Crash Bandicoot, so he kind of reminds me of myself in some way, shape, or form because he's retarded and just funny looking, so, well, not that I'm funny looking, but I'm probably, I act retarded, so, I don't know, I love him. I grew up with Crash Bandicoot, because I'm a 90s baby, 91 to be exact, and uh, this game came out, I believe, in 97, 1997, 1998? I grew up with it, and if you were lucky enough to grow up with this great game, uh, you know, if you're lucky enough to grow up with this game, then you're awesome. Like myself. Because I can hear shit. Oh, look at that big ass forehead. Crystal. <laughs> of course. He has like a he has an N on his forehead like how Majin Vegeta has an M, except that you know this dude's head is like fucking eight times bigger. Like the cortex to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any Earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Yeah, big ass head. Damn, that shit is huge. That's how I'd be Crash? sleeping. Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. I'll make myself useful by putting my hand upside your head. You wake me up one more time. Bitch! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'd be getting mad as shit when people be waking me up. So this is Crash Bandicoot 2 for the PlayStation. Um, one of my uh, one of my personal favorites, as I said before. Man, look at the graphics. They're so they're so lifelike. Like, this is the most realistic thing I've ever seen. It's like HD. You know, 1080 by 720, like quality. <laughs> Tell me, back in the day, though, these graphics were the shit. Just like GoldenEye, like 007 GoldenEye, like people would be freaking out, like, oh my god, this game is like awesome. It's like so lifelike. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize Welcome. for the things used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. <laughs> you see Crash Crystal's Bandicoot scratching his head? Bring me the crystal. The reason why he's scratching his head is like, is damn, your forehead is so now. fucking big. Well, I don't understand why it's so big. <laughs> That's why he was looking up there confused as fuck, like... You know, it wasn't even like the, help me Luke Skywalker, I need your help. Oh, I'm sorry. Help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, I need your help. Like, you know, it wasn't even because of the hologram. He was just looking at that dude. It was like, damn, why the fuck is your head so damn big? Okay, so, um, if you haven't played Crash Bandicoot 2, it's simple. You have five rooms, and there's five levels. So, I mean, Cortex explained it. So, pretty much there's 25 crystals. Five times five is 25, if your math is shitty like mine. Um, basically, you just need to get the 25 crystals and you beat the game. That's relatively easy, so to speak. Um, getting the gems, like the blue gem up there, and the normal gray gems, red gems, 
that's the more difficult challenging part uh it doesn't get too much harder until by the time you get to like level two or level three or i'm sorry the floor level two floor level three um that should be getting hard and i might get a couple of gems but you know since it's an hour hour and a half i'm not gonna try to really do it because that will take too much time so what is up my bitches what is up what is up what is up what is up? I don't know what's up. I guess the fucking ceiling in the sky. So, um, as I said, this is with commentary, so I'm gonna be strictly talking through the whole shit. So, since this is much different from my past walkthroughs that involves, you know, more cutscenes and in-game dialogue, you know, since that's completely non-existent, uh, I will just be providing all of the narrative for it. So, drop down here. These little boxes, if you jump on them ten times, you get ten, uh, wampa fruit. But I don't feel like jumping on them. You know, when I was younger, I didn't know that uh, I didn't know that these fucking fruit were called wampa fruit. I always thought they were peaches and shit. Like I'd go like, "Damn!" It's like, "Cool! I got just ten more peaches." I mean, I don't know. They kind of look like they they look like an apple and a peach. And if you get a hundred, of course, you're like you know, ninety nine. You get a you get a life. So slide, jump, get up here, hit that. Now this part used to fuck me up all the time. With this game, you have to be careful because there's certain moments that will get very gay. Like it would get really, really, really gay. Like for example, that ostrich. You uh, slide, jump, slide, well, slide, jump, up here. Oh, he already stuck his head in the ground. All right, so jump down on him, and you're gonna have to do that to get that box up there because if you don't you're gonna fuck up and this game is notorious for having you fuck up and ha you know having to go back and try and get shit again so I mean that's not too difficult but in the later levels it gets pretty hard um, this is one of the games that if you haven't played in a long time or if you've never played it at all it might be a little more challenging because this oh shit almost slid right into the turtle um, yeah, if you've never played this type of game before, or it's been a very long time, like how it wasn't for my case, I had a very, very hard time playing it. You know, um, because this is back in the day when controls were just so simplified, where you know you didn't have to uh, hold R then you know push A to run, like you know something like in Assassin's Creed or Uncharted or you know other type of platforming games. You know, it's just like so simple that it's like hard. I mean, especially since you're not using the joystick to move, you're using the D-pad. So, I mean, this game can be kind of challenging. At least for me, I mean, at least for me it is. Because, you know, it's one of those games where you played when you're younger. And, you know, you have a hard time with something. And, you know, it could be because the fact that, you know, you're just young and you're not experienced. And you come back at it when you're older, like however many years later, and you play it. And it's like, wow. It's like I had a hard time with this. Like, that shit was fucking easy. Like, I don't know. To me, this is not one of these games. Um, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Got it. See, now look, if I would have hit that turtle uh, and killed him, I couldn't, I couldn't jump high enough to get that box, so... I gotta wait. As I'm saying, you have to be careful because there's certain moments like that where you fuck up. You, you know, you fuck up and you have to die on purpose to go back and get the shit the right way. Um, yeah. So this isn't one of these games for me where you know I used to play this game all the time when I was younger to try to get all the gems, the gems, and uh, I used to have the manual for it. You know, got it. Um, I used to have the manual for it to find out all the gems and. For some reason, this game was just so fucking hard that, you know, back then, you know, in the 90s or something, I couldn't, I couldn't get all the gems and shit. Like, there's some of them I couldn't fucking get. So, uh, you know, I came, uh, you know, I was like maybe 8, 9, 8 to 10 or something. I guess this is when I really played it a lot. Um, you see, I got all the boxes, so I got that gem. Um, so, you know, from 8 to 10, I played it all the time. 
Um, I came back, you know, downloaded 